me pendance bar e me parlecho bar e voilà io Pixies, my name is Gigi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I would love it if you stick around and stay for a while. Subscribe. I am going to be doing my makeup. I know I can't believe it. Um, usually I don't do my makeup on my channel because I'm not all that confident in my makeup skills. But today, um, I've been trying out a new routine and I really love it. I've been wearing it in my most recent videos and a ton of you have been requesting a routine. So, you ask, I shall deliver. So the very first step we are going to do is start off with skincare. I'm just kind of, I don't want to ruin my hair by putting it back. So I'm just going to do this and we'll hope for the best. Skincare, most important step of all. So I'm going to start off with a vitamin C serum. Um, I use the Vit CT infused serum from Teeny. It's really good. It's cruelty free, vegan, all that. I think almost everything is cruelty free or vegan. I try to do that as much as possible and only purchase things that I know are, so. But anyway, so it's really, really nice and it smells like summer in a bottle. I've talked about it before on my channel instantly right away, like you see like the glow. Vitamin C is known for that. Um, just really good at brightening the skin and plumping. Don't wear my shirt, I kind of like it. Don't look too closely at it, okay? It's kind of a thrift flip fail, but. I really like the color. Now I'm gonna use a moisturizer, which is the most important part. I'm just using the Curology Rich Moisturizer. I've been using Curology for about a month now. I'm gonna talk about it soon in a video, but I am really loving it. But yeah, their moisturizer is really, really nice. It's just very thick, which I like. My skin can get pretty dry and um, just unhappy really easily. So a good moisturizer is key. And you want to make sure you're using a moisturizer every single day, no matter what, use moisturizer and bring it down your neck as well. I don't think my routine is anything that fancy. Um, I'm a simple gal, but I think it's really nice for like every day and back to school and all that. So next thing I use is the um, solid and striped face sunscreen. This is SPF 30. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. I really like this one because it's like a serum um, and it doesn't go on your skin and leave any sort of like white cast or anything. And it actually is just like a really pretty, like leaves a really pretty glow to the skin. You should use a sunscreen every single day. This one I really like because it's actually reef safe in addition to being cruelty free and vegan. A lot of sunscreens have a chemical in them that basically kills coral reefs. So I don't live near an ocean, but I still like want to be cautious about what I'm using that's getting washed on the drain or whatever. Definitely try and find a reef safe sunscreen. And this one's really nice. What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, and then I'm gonna use an eye cream. I use the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. I used to just use this at night, but recently my eyes have been getting so dry. You can really tell like when I put my makeup on, I'm putting some before I put my makeup on, just to make sure they don't get dry. Number two, pat products in, especially around your eyes because the skin there is really delicate. Now I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. It's the dewy version. I think they have a matte version too, but since my skin gets kind of dry, um, I like to go dewy. It has like a nice, like a tint to it almost, and you definitely could wear this like on its own and just get the like the glimmer from it you know i'm not sure what the deal is with wet and wild and being cruelty free i know that this product is cruelty free it says it but also like i heard something about their parent company getting bought and their parent company sells in china which requires you to test on animals so i don't really know what's going on with that but this one is cruelty free. Last step of prep is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I put this on before and after with my makeup and I'm telling you, this stuff makes such a difference. It just makes your makeup like melt in and just look so good. So you can see like my skin just already has such a nice glow to it. You honestly wouldn't even need Foundation, except foundation is my favorite step, so I'm still gonna put foundation on. Since my 21st is coming up, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself to a big girl foundation. I got the Dior Backstage Foundation. For me personally, it's just a smidgen too dark, um, so I'm gonna mix it in my hand. 
gonna take like a good amount of this one but then I'm also gonna mix in just a teeny tiny bit of the covergirl clean fresh nourishing foundation it's like their their like skin tint basically and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in with it just to mix in oh that was a little bit too much then last but not least I lost the cap to this but I used the Ellie girl luminous skin illuminator and I'm gonna mix a little bit of that in too just to add a little bit of glow it matches my neck as you can see, um, but my face is a little bit lighter. And then I just use my fingers, they're clean. I just went and washed them um, just to kind of blend it all in. Feel like when I use my fingers opposed to a brush, A, it's easier. B, it just looks way more natural and dewy. Sometimes when I use a brush, it just looks kind of streaky. Maybe I'm just using a bad brush, but I don't know. I just feel like this looks much more natural and that's what I'm after. I just want it to look like my skin, you know? This helps it just kind of like melt into your skin a lot better. I just forgot a step. I like to do my eyebrows before I do for my foundation. So I just kind of wiped off some of the foundation on my forehead. I kept it kind of the same down here. We'll go back in and fix that. I do the soap brow technique. This is the pears soap. I literally just got this off Amazon. So basically I just spray a little bit of water on the, the, the soap and then I just get my, my spoolie in there. You want that like little bit of paste brush your brows up with it. So as you can see, you can't do this with, with foundation on your forehead because it'll just look really gunky and bad. But then I use my finger to press it up. This just gives you like such a nice fluffy brow. Don't worry, we're not keeping it like this. Then I just kind of like brush them down a little bit and into where I want them to be. And you have to go over it with your finger to get rid of any like crumbling or like crustiness <laughs> and make sure your soap is clean otherwise it'll get gunky and voila we'll go back to our eyebrows a little bit later but that's what I do for now then just take q-tip I get it wet and I go above my eyebrow where my foundation is gonna be and where it's just a little bit messy now but it's clean. Then we'll go back and put the foundation on. Probably the hardest part for me is then going back in around my eyebrows and, but I think that's a pretty good job. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I use the NYX HG Photogenic Concealer. I don't really have like a, a favorite concealer, you know? I just kind of use what I use. I don't have any problems with this one. I think it's nice and I like NYX, so. Focus it mostly under my eyes because that's really where I need it. I'll put a little bit around my nose and then I'm just gonna use my ring finger to kind of just dab that in. Okay, now I'm going to use some powder. I use the e.l.f. HD powder. Um, and I think this is the luminous version. I like this one because it has very subtle shimmers to it. Like nothing crazy, but I hate looking too matte. It's not enough shimmer to be able to see it on your face, but it's just enough to make it not look like you're like ridiculously matte. Um, I make sure to put some in my smile lines because I'm a smiley gal and those, those are my trouble areas. I put it everywhere. I just kind of focus it in the areas that I need it and where I just put the concealer. Okay, then I'm going to use the slightest bit of bronzer. I don't like that much, just a teeny tiny tiny bit to warm up the face. And I love the butter bronzer because it smells really good. I use just the smallest amount and I focus it like kind of on the apples of my cheeks almost. More kind of like a blush. My goal isn't really to like contour, I guess. 
Although I do put it on my forehead. Now, personally, I like my nose. I think it's really small from the side, but from the front, it's kind of big. And I kind of like that. Um, I don't feel the need to cover it up. So instead, I kind of do this. I go like over my nose and under onto my like under my eye, kind of like anime style. I just think this is really cute and kind of just makes you look a little bit more bronzed. Then I use this e.l.f. Um, monochromatic like stick that they have. I love this thing. This is like probably my favorite product. This color is absolutely everything and it just, I just think it looks so pretty. I'm gonna take it a little bit on a stippling brush and I'm just gonna stipple, stipple, stipple. And then I just put it right on the apples of my cheeks. But I kind of like, kind of imagine like I'm drawing an oval right on the bone of my cheek. And that's the only place I put it. Basically, like, if you were an anime character and you know how they blush and it's just like a little oval, that's the look I'm going for. See? That sheen is so pretty. Whatever's left on the brush, I go like this, just over my nose, just for that little, like, cute sunburned look that everyone these days loves. It's so pretty. And then I just take like a teeny tiny bit on my finger because I'm obsessed and I just kind of put that right on the, my cheekbone just to kind of make that more intense, just right there. Look at that. I love it. And since we used the foundation, I usually should have done this earlier, but I, e.l.f. has this like, it comes like kind of like a lipstick, but it's a lip scrub. It's from e.l.f., it's like $3. So I like to do this. Okay, so for my eyes, I think you guys mostly wanted to see what I do to my eyes in my last couple videos, so this is what I've been doing. So I take my bronzer on a fluffy brush. First, just start off by putting it in my crease. And I also kind of focus it on the outside and kind of drag it under as well. Kind of like making a little bit of a triangle. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of experiment and the stuff turns out how it does. And I use this little tiny eyeshadow little palette from e.l.f. Um, it's called Cream and Sugar. It's like literally $3. Um, I go in with this creamy shade first and um, in the in the outer corner and like on the lid but like on the outside um i use my finger in this golden shade i just get a little bit and i put that like right on the lid kind of like going like up like this to catch the light and kind of open your eye just very subtle then this is key. I take a fluffy brush and I go into the lighter gold color and I really pack it on there and I put that in my inner corner. The inner corner and coming into the eyelid. Okay, we're gonna come back to the eyes. We're not finished, but we're gonna come back. I'm gonna go back to my little elf brush. This is just the eyebrow, instant lift eyebrow pencil in the darkest color that they have. And I'm just going to very lightly fill in, very lightly using a very light hand, draw the line under my eyebrow that I want it to follow, like the shape. And then I kind of just fill in any areas that are sparse. When I soap my brows up, it gives me more sparse areas than it would if I just let my brows be, so yeah. Just gotta remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Then, 
just to really finish off the eyebrows. I, with a very light hand, use the Wow Brow from e.l.f. Um, this is in the darker color. Just because I feel like sometimes my eyebrows just get like foundation on them and stuff, even though I'm really careful. And I just very lightly just kind of secure everything. There's not a ton of color that comes off of this. It's a little, it's much more subtle than you would think it is. Um, but I really just like, I feel like it's just the finishing touch. And I like my brows big. I spent so much of my life hating my eyebrows and being ashamed of how big and dark they were and confused as to why nobody else had dark eyebrows. Um, but now I just really embrace them and I think that like I have a whole eyebrow mood board on Pinterest just because I think that big eyebrows are stunning. If I was in a movie, I'd want Lily Collins to play me. So, might as well embrace my eyebrows just in case that ever happens, just to make sure that they choose Lily Collins. Really good feeling that like accepting and accentuating the parts of you that you used to not like. For example, like I used to, in like early high school, I would Photoshop my nose to be smaller, very slightly so that nobody would notice, but I would, I would Photoshop my nose to be smaller. And that's why I don't even want to contour it now because Honestly, now, I think it's cool that I have kind of a bigger nose. I think it's cute. Even though they're not society's standard of like beauty, I love big noses. And it's just like a good feeling when you are accentuating and like accepting things that used to make you feel really insecure. Like now, my eyebrows are like a flex. I'm like, yeah, I'm the girl with the big eyebrows. And that's really cool. And like, yeah, my nose, kind of big, but it's so cute. I love my nose now. And my hair. Don't straighten that anymore. And it's just a really good, like, empowering and just, like, good feeling. So now, I'm gonna move on to... We're gonna do the eyeliner. But this is, I think, the part that really made that eye look in the last couple of videos what it was. Basically, I use this, and I use the darkest color in here. I don't use an actual eyeliner. And I'm just gonna use this little angled brush. And I'll zoom you in. And I'm gonna just... First, pat it along the line. Okay, usually this doesn't make me nervous at all, but like with you guys watching, it's I'm scared. Um, like straight out from that line and then kind of connect it from the corner of my eye. Like so. Then I'm also gonna take it down directly and go to about the halfway mark under. Okay, I feel like that's wrong. Way more aggressive than it usually is. I'm kind of upset. I'm like stressed because I know this is the part that you guys wanted to see the most. Let's try the other eye and come back to this one. Got it on the brush. I'm just gonna do it, I'm not gonna talk. There we go, okay. I don't really know, basically I think what I do is I go on the line and then I just keep going. And, I, and then I kind of come from down below, which also, I then drag this down below. And it kind of just angles up, you know? Just kind of like give your eye that like, look. kind of like the smoky look, so it's actually kind of enhances the smoky look if it's just a tad bit messy, so no worries. Okay, I'm like shaking. That's that. Okay, so that is that. I think it's very pretty. I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of like a more natural, like softer look than using like an actual eyeliner. But now, speaking of actual eyeliner, so I have this eyeliner from e.l.f. You can use anything for this though. So I take this um, e.l.f. It's like a felt tip marker and I go over my freckles or like my beauty marks that are a little bit darker. It's these two right here that kind of stand out a little bit more. And there's just a couple others right there. And I dab pretty quickly. Just go over the ones that are peeking through that I can see but are like 
covered by makeup. Then I learned this trick from Kiana Naomi. I love her and her channel. Kiana, if you happen to be watching, I love you and I really want to be your friend. We can sing musical theater together. I think we'd be good friends, I'm just saying. I just, I really, I just have a feeling we'd be good friends. She had this trick where she uses this sponge that's like used in the theater world, these things. And she used it in like a cream, like contour product. I'm actually gonna go right back into this eyeshadow. This little thing that costs $3 is very, um, you get a good bang for your buck. I just take a teeny tiny bit in here. I just kind of like, oh, kind of dab that over. Okay, that one got a little bit too close to my eye, so be careful of that. And I just use my finger to dab it all in. And that's the key to make it look natural. Fake freckles aren't for everyone, but they're definitely for me. It makes your makeup look just so like fresh and cute. And I'm a big fan, not for everyone, and that's okay. Pretty much done. I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow again. Take just a teeny tiny bit of this one on my finger. Put it on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and dab it right above my lip. Then I'm gonna take the LA Girl Illuminator again and dab the teeniest, tiniest amount on my cheekbone. I used to wear highlighter so much in um, high school. I would wear like blinding highlighters to school, like just on the daily, just because I thought it looked good and I would put on so much of it. I feel like I've kind of outgrown that. I feel like maybe I highlighted myself out because now I just like a very subtle highlight on the cheek. But I like the more intense look on my nose, but for some reason on my cheeks I just like it to be really subtle. And sometimes I don't use highlighter at all on my cheeks, I just let my like blush do the, the job because it does have a little bit of glow. I'm gonna take the smallest amount of my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and just put this teeniest bit amount. I have very long eyelashes, so for some reason, like, when I put mascara on, I automatically just look... I feel like if I put, like, a normal amount of mascara on, opposed to just, like, a tiny amount, too much. And it kind of looks like I'm wearing, like, all of a sudden I'm going to, like, a fancy event. So if I'm trying to just be casual with it, I, I don't put mascara on. If I want just, like, a little bit of extra something, I'll put some on love putting it on my lower lashes. My lips, I'm gonna use this uh, LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Liner. This one's just like a pink and I line my lips. I don't really overline. And I do just kind of like fill it in as well. My lips are really like unpigmented I feel like so I just like this basically just to look like my lips, but more pigmented. Oh, then I just put a chapstick on. I dab a chapstick on, because that just makes it look like natural. And then I take the smallest bit of the NYX matte lip liner in the shade Girl By, and I use this just to kind of add a little bit of a more intense color. Last but not least, to top everything off, I use the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. This stuff is like $3 and is literally such a similar formula to the Glossier one, which I used to be obsessed with. It's clear, it just looks pink because I always put it over my lip stuff. And that is the final look, so. But yeah, so here's the final look. I think it's so, so pretty and just really nice for every day and I really, really like it. It's super easy and when I'm not talking through the whole thing, it really only takes me like 10 to 15 minutes at the most, so that's really nice. Yeah. I love you Pixies so much. I hope that you liked this video and I hope you're all having an incredible day and a good week. I know a lot of you are going back to school or going back to like online school, so I hope that that's going well and yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!